Hey guys, it is your boy Ruben here and today is the video I've been wanting to give to you guys for about a week or two. So, sorry I have not been uploading for the past like two days I guess. I've been busy with school stuff like projects, homework, studying, like the usual stuff basically. But now guys, here's my official review on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So this is the first time I'm ever reviewing a game and a Call of Duty game. So bear with me guys because this is going to be my first ever review on my channel. So hopefully guys this will be good. So when I heard about Advanced Warfare I became uninterested because COD Ghost gave me an edgy feeling of what the next COD would be in store for us. But then a few months later the live action trailer came out for the game and basically I actually really liked the trailer. So I came into my thoughts about this game and I thought this might be a pretty decent game. So how I got this game is a pretty funny and short story. So basically, I just sold tostitos to my friends and people at school. And tostitos are basically like Mexican chips that everyone loves. Like who doesn't love tostitos? So like my dumb ass, I got caught and I couldn't sell anymore because the principal and vice principal told me not to because if I do it again, I'll be suspended. But would I do it again? Fuck yeah, I would. Just for extra money to buy like a game or Xbox One. I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, so when the Day Zero Edition came out, I first played multiplayer and I actually enjoyed it. If you guys haven't already seen my first gameplay, go watch it if you want to, but it's pretty bad. So anyways, I enjoyed the game so much, I actually went up to the stores and I actually bought some Mountain Dew bottles just for the rewards they gave in November and December, like the gears and double XP and all type of stuff like that. So this was the time I was in the PS3 and not the PS4. And this was also the time I was playing with Javi. He was in my channel a few times. I don't know how you guys cannot miss him. And my new friend Daniel I met in a lobby. And he's a pretty cool guy. His name was Best DGK, I think. And I think now his gamer tag is like Savage D's Nuts. I have no idea. But anyways, we had awesome times and stuff. But when we kind of came apart with the game because we got different consoles and you guys know that Hobby got a gay box one and me and Daniel have a PS4 now but anyways I enjoyed the DLCs and guns that Hammer was putting in the game throughout the months and this is when I was completely changing my mind about this game so the thing Sledgehammer promised to give us most likely is shitty or it doesn't even happen like the way we wanted it to for example the royalty guns are a reskin of elite weapons and like the cool gear Quote unquote is also a reskin of other items, and these supply drop credits that have been leaked on the PC files won't even be happening, including that new gun Michael Conjury tweeted out. To me, it looks like it'll be on the last week where everyone will be switching to a Black Ops 3, which is the stupidest idea to actually release a DLC on a COD game that's actually his last week of playing it. Advanced Warfare was a great game, it was the first to introduce us to the new moving systems in Call of Duty. Yep, there was that shit in Call of Duty Ghost that was sliding and leaning, but to be honest, that was really horrible and crappy and shouldn't even be discussed in this video. But anyways, AW was the first game to have a new company developer in the franchise. AW was a good run, but now it is the Kings of COD, also known as Treyarch, to turn to make this year's COD awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave down in the comments what you guys think about this Advanced Warfare review. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I am out. Peace.